So there's a Texas woman named Karen Fonseca. Fonseca? Uh, not sure exactly how to pronounce that. But she made quite a bit of news because um, she put this bumper sticker on her car. Okay, so it says, Fuck Trump and fuck you for voting for him. Um, well, Fort Bend County Sheriff Troy Nels didn't like that very much. In fact, he uh, posted a picture of the truck on Facebook, his personal Facebook page. And he said um, he received complaints from unhappy people over this. And he also said that the county prosecutor was considering charging the owner of the truck with disorderly conduct. Yeah, no, you can't do that. So he eventually pulled down that post, and he pulled down that post because I think anybody with a functioning brain who knows anything about constitutional law said to him, hey, jackass, this is constitutionally protected speech 101. If you care about free speech in the slightest, you go, of course this is protected speech. You're allowed to say, fuck, fill in the blank with a public figure, with a politician? Absolutely. That's like the number one thing that would be protected under free speech. So people pointed that out. He probably recognized, oh shit, I look like an idiot. Pulled it down. But guess what? She was arrested. Whoa. So she was arrested. She's claiming, it, I was arrested because of the bumper sticker. And now she's suing. She's going, you're violating my First Amendment rights. You can't do that. Now, here's the curveball in the story. What happened is, so... Her truck, with the bumper sticker on the back, many people saw that, hated it, did contact the authorities and say, we don't like this. And then again, many people responded and countered them and said, yeah, it doesn't fucking matter if you don't like it, it's protected by the First Amendment. So we're strong, uh, you know, a lot of people on both sides. But what happened is many people called in and they said, listen, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a, a tip here. I know her or whatever, or I know somebody who knows her, she might have an outstanding warrant on her for fraud. So they looked it up. She did. So they arrested her, and they said, we well, didn't arrest her for the bumper sticker. We arrested her for fraud. She paid her $1,500 bail. She's out on bail. But now she's suing them, going, no, you arrested me for the bumper sticker, so I'm going to take you to court over that. Or at the very least, the argument that they're making, and the ACLU took her case... But the argument that they're making is, at the very least, the bumper sticker was the catalyst to look further into her case to then realize, oh shit, um, she, she has a warrant out for fraud. So, um, what's my take? Look, you have 100% have the constitutionally protected um, right to do that kind of speech. I, like I said, is literally like the first thing I would think of when saying, is this protected speech? Yeah, you're saying fuck you to a politician. Of course that's protected speech. Um, you don't have the constitutionally protected right where if you get people interested in you, you know, and then they look up to see if you have a warrant that you do, that, oh, well, no, now you're supposed to ignore that because... I didn't want my bumper sticker to cause so much interest. No. So look, I have to side against her on this, and I think the ACLU too. I actually think what they're doing is damaging, um, damaging themselves here, the ACLU, because I'm, in, I'm on the side of the ACLU in most cases, and even in the extreme cases where they try to protect the rights of, like, fucking genuinely hateful people. Like, they... They protected Milo Yiannopoulos. You know, they took up a case for him because it, when he shut down from college campuses and stuff. I agree with them on that. The reason I don't agree with them on this is because this isn't th the logic of free speech. It doesn't extend to if you're if you have a warrant out for fraud, that should be overlooked because the thing that triggered them looking into the fact that you had a warrant was protected speech. I don't buy that because I don't. I think you're stretching it to beyond what free speech is. Free speech doesn't give you a pass on other crimes you may have committed where there's a warrant for you. No. But it, you know, if the arrest was solely for the bumper sticker, well, then of course I'm on her side, and of course the ACLU should defend her. 
But if there was a warrant out for fraud, now it's a different story if they made up the fraud as a cover because they go, oh, we don't like her, we don't like her bumper sticker, so we're going to use the fraud thing. We made it up, but it's a cover to arrest her to try to punish her over the bumper sticker. Well, then that's a different story. And then, yeah, the ACLU is right, and I hope that people get fucking fired and locked up for this kind of bullshit that they're doing here. But, you know, as of right now, there's no information indicating that. It looks like she actually did commit fraud, um, or there was a warrant out for fraud at the very least. So she was arrested because she got a lot more attention as a result of the bumper sticker, and then they nailed her on the fraud. And by the way, last point here is she added a bumper sticker to her car that said also, so it says, fuck Trump and fuck you if you voted for him. And now it also says, um, fuck Troy Nels, the sheriff. <laughs> So she ain't backing down. You could give her that for sure. But in terms of the uh, free speech case she's making, it appears to me to be a giant stretch.